ISFJs are often characterized as warm, considerate, responsible, detail-oriented, thorough, and harmonious. And I believe that a great example of an ISFJ is actually Kim Kardashian. Now, when you look into Kim Kardashian's life, then you can see that she's actually one of those very loyal people, you know, despite the way that she's been, you know, popularized from the past and even how she became a celebrity to begin with, when you actually watch shows such as, you know, um, Keeping Up With The Kardashians and then you keep up with the Kardashians and you compare all of their personalities to each other, you see Kim's tertiary TI come out enough times to where it can cut at certain people while also at the same time she tends to value that FE, that harmony, a lot more. She tends to really like to connect with the people that she's around. She actually does care about what people think about her and she also likes to kind of keep it safe. She's not a very highly conceptual person but rather she likes to be able to look over her past and she likes to be able to in a way, she has a great memory um, and she looks at the impressions of things that have happened over her life, what has been reliable once again, which is what SI is always about. And having a husband such as Kanye, who I believe is ENFP, um, allows her to bring out that extroverted intuition inferior function so that she can kind of venture off and do all of these new things. And so she actually tells Kanye or tells the camera a lot of times that Kanye is the one who's helped her to be able to be as innovative as she is. Um, and so I believe that all in all, when you observe Kim Kardashian on a much closer light, you'll be able to see a lot of these functions at play. And that is one reason why, or just essentially why I believe that Kim Kardashian is an ISFJ and a great example of one.